So did you know a healthy heart and good hearing go hand in hand? <laughs> Dr. Rebecca <laughs> Brashear, owner of Ascent Audiology and Hearing, is here to tell us a little more about how they're connected. It's kind of interesting to say the least. It is. You don't usually think about that kind of thing. Um, what really connects them is blood flow. Okay, so in your inner ear, you have these little tiny hair cells that are responsible for collecting that sound, making them into electrical impulses, and then sending it onto the brain, which we hear as sound. And so if those don't, those um, hair cells don't get that nourishment from that blood flow, the circulation, then they're gonna die off. And that can lead to a permanent hearing loss because those hair cells are not like the hair grizzle on our head that can grow back. They're gone. Once they're gone, they're gone. And so that blood flow is extremely important. So if you have, you know, hypertension or other heart disease, it's a good idea to be aware that they're connected. So yeah. what about if you have hearing loss? Can that be an indicator of the health, like the reverse? Yes, and it's kind of back to that instance with the um, the hair cells. And so because they're so vulnerable, then they can be that typically the first thing that is affected when it comes to heart health, but you just don't know it. So about 40% of those with mild to moderate hypertension have hearing loss as well. Interesting. I know. So, it, you know, it's important to know what the signs of hearing loss are as well. So, for instance, if you start to feel like people are mumbling, they're not talking as loud, or if you struggle in background noise, you know, restaurants, that kind of thing, or even if you have sounds in your ears like ringing, buzzing, humming, that's called tinnitus. So those are indicators that something else is going on. Yeah, that's what I was going to say about the yeah. whooshing. What if you hear that? Yeah, of so that is a form of what we just talked about, tinnitus, but it's called pulsatile tinnitus. And so it actually mimics your heartbeat. So it sounds like you're hearing your heartbeat, and um, it is very rare. So about 10% of those cases of tinnitus, about 50 million people experience it, only 10% have pulsatile. And with these two types of tinnitus, they're not actually conditions of their self. They're usually a symptom of another condition. So if it's heart health, if you address that, then you may get some relief from that tinnitus. Mm -hmm. Okay, and speaking of other health issues, what else can be connected to hearing loss that you're talking about? Because I guess you don't yeah, often yeah. realize that those ears are I connected. Mean, we know everything's connected. Right, right, right. Well, I've talked about dementia before in hearing loss, and that's the one I want to bring up again for sure. So if you have a mild hearing loss, you're two to three times more likely, or double the likely, to actually have um, dementia down the road. If you have a moderate hearing loss, you're triple amount to get, uh, potentially get it. Um, now, you're also more prone to falls, and that's with a mild hearing loss, so your balance can be a little bit off. And then a depression, social uh, isolation, that kind of thing. So when you are have a hearing loss and you're out in everyday life and you're not understanding what people are saying, you start to withdraw. And so that depression, socialization is a, is a really big one too. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Brashears, talk yeah. a little bit about a message that you'd really like to people to take away from this success, because there's obviously a bigger picture here oh, that yeah. we're looking at. Yeah, um, yeah. Besides hearing loss, it just, there's more to it. Exactly. So it's important for your doctor to be aware that there is a connection. So that way, if you have one, then you can hopefully prevent the other. So for if you have heart disease, then maybe it's time to go get your hearing checked or vice versa. If you have a hearing loss, maybe it's a good idea just to make sure everything is going well with the heart. Um, so it's never too late, um, especially with hearing. We always recommend once you hit that age 50 to get a baseline hearing test. So if you haven't already, it's a good time to do it. That way you can kind of prevent things from happening in the future. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, now, Rebecca, um, talk a little bit about how we can find you. It's real easy to oh, find yes, your yes. a good location. <laughs> well, I'm at 906 6th Avenue, right here in Huntington, the corner of 6th Avenue and 9th Street. You can give me a call at 304-948-5565. Okay, Dr. <laughs> Becker Brashears, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you back here next Monday. Thank you. <laughs>